Okay, so I have my supplies all ready. What you will need today is the flower and leaf dye from the Stamp Affair kit. Um, if you did not purchase the kit, you can probably find a leaf and flower dye in your collection that might work for you. Um, if you have this one, this will be the easiest. It was designed specifically with this technique in mind. Um, I die cut four flowers from different colored felt and also three leaves. Now the dies are designed so that they also um, emboss or impress a design. Um, the design is not as um, apparent on felt as it is on paper, if you die cut from paper. But I did find that a fun little tip for you if you want to do this. Um, I actually ironed over my die and my felt pieces using um, an iron to impress that design a little more deeply into the felt. Now you don't have to do that, you can skip that step if you if you want, or you can go ahead and do it. Um, if you choose to do it, I used my iron on a cotton setting, and I just made sure that I put a press cloth over top of my die, and then I just pressed with a, a pretty firm pressure for about 10 to 12 seconds on each die, and it just really helped to um, make that impression a little deeper into the felt. All right, then we also need the stamens, the flower stamens, which were also included in the Stamp Affair kit. And you will also need then some floral wire and tape. Um, I'm using white on my project today. You can also use green. It's up to you, totally up to you. And then I also have a ribbon that I'm going to be using, just a little bit of to tie the stems together. And this is paper trays. Um, quarter inch silk ribbon which I think works really well for this technique. It has kind of that vintage feel to it. It feels like something that they would have probably used back in the 1940s. Okay, so let's get started. Um, before I actually start assembling my flowers, I want to give you just a little tutorial on how to wrap the wires with the floral tape. And I'm going to show you this on just a plain piece of wire first before um, I show you the flower assembly just because it's going to be a little bit easier for you to see how I'm doing it without having the flower on on the wire. You're, going, it's, you're just going to be able to see it a little better. So I worked for several years as a floral designer and so this is kind of comes naturally to me but I realize if you have not it probably won't. It'll take a little bit of practice but what you need to do this, I always just hook my roll of tape on my pinky finger. You can leave it lay on your table if you want. It's just whatever is easier for you. I take my wire in my left hand and my tape in my right between my thumb and my first two fingers. And what I do is I start at the top of the wire and leave a little bit of excess overhang to the left of the wire. Fold that around and catch that end. And then I just begin twisting and pulling. Getting it started is the hardest, and you just kind of have to roll the wire between your thumb and your first finger on your left hand while you're pulling the tape with your right hand. And what you want to do is you actually want, the floral tape is quite stretchy, so you will want to stretch the tape as you roll the wire between your fingers on your left hand and just continue pulling this tape kind of in a downward motion while you roll with your fingers. Okay, it takes a little bit of practice. It doesn't have to be perfect, but you might want to just go ahead and practice that step a few more times. I'll show you one more time. I start at the top, grab the excess, fold it around and grab it, and then start pinching and rolling. Stretching that tape as you go, you can kind of see how I'm getting a lot of length out of the width of the tape, if that makes sense. Okay, and then you just tear it off and your wire is wrapped. 
Okay, so let's, like I said, you might need to practice that step a few times. Just give it a try and do your best. Okay, so let's go on to assembling the flowers. And what you're going to need to do is, with the felt, I have found that two stamens actually worked better. If you're um, creating this out of cardstock, which you definitely can do, one stamen will be enough. But I have found that the felt tends to pull through a little bit, and it works better if you actually use a little cluster of stamens. So I'm taking two stamens, and I'm going to fold them in half, so I have a little cluster of them. And then what you need to do is you need to take the folded end and insert that into the hole of the die cut flower. Now you might need to do it one at a time if you can't get them both through at once. But there I managed to pull them through. Alright, and then you just want to make sure that they're kind of positioned how you want them to be. Kind of even. Nice little cluster there. Okay, then you take one of your wires. My wires started out, I, got, I just picked them up at Walmart, and they were really long, and I was able to cut each wire into three pieces. This is plenty of length, plenty of length for what we're doing today. All right, so take a wire, and you just insert it into that hole also. Now you can see it coming up here. You do not want it to come up beyond your stamens. Just nestle it down in there. You want it up in there, though. It will make your flower more stable. Otherwise, if you don't put it up through the hole and you just try to tape it by lining it up the bottom here, the head of your flower is going to be a little wobbly. So just go ahead and insert that up through that hole also, but keep it down low enough so that it doesn't show in between your stamens. Okay, so then we're going to go ahead and take our tape and we're going to tape the wire to those flower stamens. And we're going to use the same process I showed you of just the wire, but this time we're also going to catch the stamens. So go ahead and fold that tape over to start and then just begin rolling and wrapping. And again, just pulling that tape as you roll the wire between your left hand, fingers of your left hand. Okay, so there is our very first flower. It's nicely wired onto a stem. It feels very stable. Okay, and then you just go ahead and repeat that process with the rest of your flowers. Taking your stamens, folding them in half and inserting them in that hole. Putting your wire in through there. And then just wrapping. And you want to try to get that tape wrapped up as close as possible to your felt flower. Let me show you the leaves. You do very similar, same type of thing. With this, I designed the leaf so that you have kind of an extended stem here, which you will be able to catch with the wire and the tape. So just place your wire on the back side of the leaf, about even the top of the wire, about even with the base of the leaf. And then just do the same wrapping technique. You want to try to get it as tight as possible and up as the tape as close as possible to the base of that leaf. And then just go ahead and wrap. And then repeat that process with the rest of the leaves. 
Okay, so I'm back and I have all four of my flowers wrapped as well as all three of my leaves. So now it's time to go ahead and assemble it into a little corsage. And all you need to do is you need to cluster your flowers together. So in an arrangement that you're happy with. And I'm going to put one leaf kind of in the back. and one leaf kind of on each side and you just need to play around with it until you're happy with it since they're on wires they're all bendable so you can kind of shape it I would say don't crowd the flowers too much give them a little room So they just kind of form a cute little bouquet. Okay, kind of liking that. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold on tight to that and I'm going to get my tape and I'm going to tape just one little, kind of just the width of the tape and I'm not going to pull down like we had been doing before on the stems. I'm just going to keep it straight and even and wrap it around there a few times. And then just tear it off. And once you're finished with that, then you can kind of rearrange them again too, since they're all wired. Just play around with it until you're happy with, with the arrangement. Okay, and I want to turn mine into a little pin. So I have a pin back here. And my original plan was to just hot glue it on there, but I discovered that hot glue does not t stick to floral tape. Floral tape is kind of waxy, and the hot glue just popped right off. So what I ended up doing is I just ended up taping it directly to here using my floral tape. Um, I opened up the pin and again just wrapped my tape around there a few times to secure it. Okay, and then I also took my silk ribbon and left my pin hanging open there. And this will help make it even a little more secure. Plus the ribbon is a cute little touch. Just I'm just going to knot it. I'm not even going to tie it into a bow. Just a double knot. And then trim the ends. You can go ahead and close up the pin. And that's really all there is to the assembly. And now one last thing we need to do, to find my wire cutter here, we need to just go ahead and trim these wires. And my wire cutter is obviously not the sharpest thing here. <laughs> so I have to just do kind of a couple at a time here. I might have to raid my husband's tool stash for a better wire cutter. Okay, 
And then I just like to kind of spread those stems out a little bit. Actually, maybe cut those a little shorter than I would have liked. Like, should have put them maybe a little bit longer. But that's okay. They're kind of cute that way. Okay, so that completes the construction of the actual little corsage. And then I created a little card to present it on as a gift. I made this using the boutique accessory die and then I stamped on it with um, the stamps from the 1940s um, Stamp Affair era set. And what we're going to do in order to make this so that I can put my pin on there is I'm going to grab a pencil and I'm going to position my little flower bouquet where I want it to be on my card and then I'm going to take a pencil and just mark a couple of little spots at the top and the bottom of the pin bag. And then take a hole punch and I'm going to punch holes where I marked with the pencil. And then I can just go ahead and slip my pin back right through those holes. A little tricky to get that in there and turn that securely closed, but not too bad. So there is our little felt posy. Something similar to what the ladies in the 1940s might have put together to dress up an old hat or an old dress just to give it a new little spark. Alright, so thanks for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this little project and I hope you're enjoying the Stamp Affair Day as a whole and I'll see you around on the forums.